And this is at our home. And this is our friend who comes and visits us every afternoon. Afternoon tea, really. This is my beautiful home that I share with my best friend and my adventure partner, Ricky. <laughs> so you'll see him all the time. We're so excited to be finally sharing with you our adventures and the wild areas of the Kimberley and the Northern Territory. We're so blessed to enjoy the remote islands. Come over here, come over up here. Look at this one. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. <laughs> we love this lifestyle. We love eating what we catch. We spend most of our time outdoors. And um, we've been doing this for as long as I could remember, for as long as I've been with Ricky. 25 years, that's a long time. We recently got ourselves a new boat, allows us to travel to even more remote islands of Australia, and you'll meet many of our special friends that enjoy and love doing what we do. See you in the water. <laughs> in the last episode of our Wild Ventures, That's incredible, look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> I'm not ready to go in. Woohoo! My size. That is awesome. <laughs> I got the biggest stripey. <laughs> this is a Maori sea perch. Look at that. Look at the patterns on it. Look at the hundreds of booby and frigate birds greeting us! So we arrived in one of the islands in the Kimberley's Western Australia during high tide. Being so remote, the wildlife is quite spectacular. We need to anchor our boat and position it well because in a couple of hours, with the tide starting to drop rapidly, the lagoon where we're in will be completely dry. At the end, the boat will end up sitting high and dry in the mud, so we better hurry. At this time of the year, there are hundreds of large green turtles mating in the shallows. About three to six weeks later, the female turtles will make their arduous journey from the sea to lay their eggs. It can take a turtle anywhere from one to three hours to get above the high tide mark from the sea, dig her nest, and then lay up to a hundred eggs. After all that digging and laying, she would then have to drag herself back down to the beach to the sea. All this takes considerable time and effort. The eggs would then incubate in the hot sand for about two months before the baby turtles start hatching. Research tells us the sex of the baby turtles is determined by the temperature of the nest. They also tell us that most female turtles would return to the same beach to lay their eggs every year. There are millions, <laughs> well lots anyway of just turtles that have dug up and laid their eggs on the beach in among these beautiful booby birds that are waiting for their mom to come back with a feed. Wow, they're so young. One of the best places to see turtles, frigate birds.
Can you imagine that I was able to sit so close and so long next to this bird asleep before it realized I was next to it? One of the highlights of this trip, well, apart from the humpback whales, turtles, and everything else, is this baby booby that has just come out of its shell. I was so extremely lucky to have walked past it. You can still see its egg tooth. Now, I didn't know anything about egg tooth till now. A newly hatched bird would have an egg tooth. The sharp, whitish object that you see on its beak. Egg tooth help baby birds crack their shell from the inside so that they can break free. It would fall off naturally after a few days. This was such a special moment. I'm obsessed with hermit crabs. <laughs> I could watch them for hours. I find them so funny. They look so cumbersome with their shells. It's either too big or too small for them. And they're constantly squabbling. Like not a major battle, but like one appears to be always chasing another one for a fight of some sort. <laughs> Ricardo, ooh, fantastic, it's very flat, Ricky, fantastic, I mean, flat, straight flat, Ricky is anticipating that one of us falls in and slides, our goal is to prove him wrong, this way he wanted to go barefoot, I decided to trust my good old trainers. <laughs> Yay! Success, Ricardo! We are camping here tonight. I'm surrounded by birds. Look. Ricky is going to be way over there. <laughs> That's me and where Miss Wendy will be staying. She's got your drink. Look at her walking through the mud. Our boat is high and dry, and hopefully, we get enough water to get out of here in the morning. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Maybe, just maybe, we'll see some beautiful turtles tonight, too. Okay. Oh, these guys are asleep. Fantastic. And the best thing is, there's nobody else here but us. <laughs> Follow our wild ventures by clicking on the subscribe button now. It is absolutely free to subscribe.
the sun's about to set, so it's time for an early dinner and a rest before turtle watching tonight. on the sand just so we know <laughs> where we're going because it's pretty dark <laughs> that way <laughs> They're tracks. <laughs> We're turtle tracking. Have a look. When I stood next to this turtle, I must have said the word amazing about five million times. It was so big. I was able to fully appreciate its effort crawling through the sand with all that weight. This turtle had crawled 50 meters from the shoreline to get to this point. Now that's a long way to crawl if you are a big and heavy turtle. I'm so happy that I was here to appreciate this. show you just very, very quickly and then we're just gonna leave her in peace. Come on, Mata. just a quick one. Okay, come. Oh my god. This turtle has done so much work. Look, she is digging up this big mound so that she can lay her eggs. Oh. <laughs> What an amazing experience with the turtles. The tide has come in, the boat is now floating, and I am off to bed. <laughs> this is definitely a great way. I mean, not great. It's a different way of waking up at one o'clock in the morning. Have a look. This is on one side of my bed. There's water lapping <laughs> next to me. This is my bed. Look. And then this is water accumulating inside on the other side. I mean, <laughs> the right side. And there is another half hour of tide coming in. So, yes, tide is still rising. What am I going to do? <laughs> We do not advise that you sleep so close to the water's edge in Northwest Australia or the Kimberleys. We've seen crocodiles in this area. Despite that I may sound very calm, I was quite concerned about the presence of crocodiles, especially at night and with the water still rising. Even if we have access to higher ground, the thought of our beds floating away was another slight concern. 
these were enough to keep me wide awake. It's very important to research the tides whenever you're traveling in this part of the world. Ricky's tidal prediction is correct. However, if I make it through the night, I will still have a very serious discussion about the positioning of our camp stretchers with him in the morning. Follow our wild ventures by clicking on the subscribe button now. It is absolutely free to subscribe. Up next, we survive the night and wake up to the sounds and sights of this beautiful island. She's done. And she would have just done it on all, like full circle. Right? Oh, yeah. Look! One. And look where there is another. A little friend over there. <laughs> Subscribe and follow our wild ventures on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. 